So as a content creator, somebody to have a small little bit of influence, you get emails every single day from scamming type of NFT company saying, Orlando, please promote this scam to your followers for $1,500. And you know me, I have integrity, so I say no 99.9% .9 of the time, but all celebrities and people don't actually have that. So we're going to cover this video that CoffeeZilla did. Shout out to him because he did all the work and I am just reacting to it. He basically talked about most of the popular NFT projects that celebrities got a part of. Some disappeared and all that type of good stuff. Hit your boy a good like. Give me a good subscribe. We're going to get right into it. I'm not going to watch the whole video because the video is... 13 minutes along with me reacting to it, it'd be like a 17 minute video. We don't want to do all that. We're going to hit the prime parts because I started it and I stopped right here because I was like, look, this is actually good. I actually could react to this. So we about to do this as a team. Let's get into the video. It feels like every day a new celebrity announces an NFT project that you've just got to buy. They hype you up, send you to a Discord group, and they promise you a roadmap, riches, and b****. In other words, they promise you the I'm just saying, who don't like I like Not no more since I'm married, but I did like back in the day. That is right up to the day of the mint. But I want to know what happens after that, after everyone buys in. What happens to the thousands of fans who just invested into their favorite celebrity? Do they go to the moon and get rich? Or do the fans lose money? That's what we're discussing today. I've gathered 20 celebrity NFT projects and I wanna take you on a where are they now journey. I didn't pick them ahead of time knowing which ones are doing poorly or doing. Out of the 20, how many do you think, let me know in the comments, how many do you think that are, that were successful? Such as right now, if you invest in a project, you still make money. Off the top of my head, I would say two. I would say two out of the 20 is actually doing decent. Well, and let me say ahead of time, this is not about, you know, what is a scam, what's not. And I'm definitely not endorsing any of these projects. I just want to look at the facts. Like, how are all these projects doing? What was the price? What is the price today? And my hope is that by zooming out, we can get a macro view of whether it's a good idea to invest in celebrity NFTs in the first place. And we're going to start with Justin Bieber, who promoted a project called The Inbetweeners, which is a collection of bear NFTs. And it's the first thing you see when you click on his Instagram with 254 million followers. At an initial mint price of 0.27 Ethereum, the project has been pretty popular for the most part, even though... Now, I never heard of this project a day in my life, but that honestly don't look too bad because you ain't lost a lot of money if you get in like right here. You lost, but you ain't lost too much. That ain't too bad. Sales have dried up a little bit despite Justin continuing to support it. The current price is down about 30%, which in this market is decent and can be described as not a total disaster, which is more than I can say for our next celebrity example, Takashi 69 69 is... Come on, dog. You a fool if you invest in anything Takashi 69 promoted. I'm just saying. Known for many things. He's known as being a rapper in the most technical of senses. He's known as being a snitch in the most legal of senses. But he's also known as being a serial NFT promoter. He's one of the few people on this list, actually, who's promoted multiple projects. The first one, Trolls, had an initial mint price of two Solana, but Trolls was accused of being a scam when 6 9 didn't deliver on the promises. Big shock. And it quickly plummeted to 1% of its original price. And even Takashi 6 9 admitted it was basically a cash grab, but that his next project, called Gene, would be different. I know a lot of you guys are wondering what happened with 6 9s last NFT project. I want to first start off by saying I apologize. I apologize because I jumped in to the NFT community without knowing what an NFT was. I didn't know what an NFT was. I didn't know what crypto was. I wasn't well informed. It was a paid partnership that I took advantage of. And I said, you know what? Let me get into something that I don't know that much about. So to all my fans who joined that, I extremely apologize for that being done. What make that's what I was talking about. Let me come back for one second. When I said integrity, you got to have integrity when you have a following or whatever it is. Because he literally said, I don't know anything about NFTs. I ain't know anything about crypto. They just offered me a bag. 
these celebrities should be held liable for scamming your people because my philosophy has always been if I'm going to take a promotion, it better be with a company that I actually respect and will personally use myself. If not, I'm going to do my research and see if I like the company and will actually personally, personally, personally use it myself. So I don't know. This year, Lana Rhodes Cryptosis. Now, we've kind of covered this in detail already. Cryptosis was a hot mess. And now, somebody in the comments let me know who Lana Rose is. I never heard of her a day in my life. Shout out to whoever she is. At the kind people were expecting. There were too many promises, way too many disappointments. And in a mint price of 0.1 Ethereum, the project is now down over 99%. And what did Lana Rhodes do about it? She accused her followers of being too negative and said they put her in a bad headspace and she's left the internet because of it. But not all NFT projects go poorly. And up next, we've got a good example of a project that's doing well. Which oh, I paused it too. Um, I was just about to say, do they have any projects on here that's actually doing good? And a good thing he's actually covering some. Gary V, before I even watch that part, Gary V is the most knowledgeable person, celebrity that we know in this realm. He live, eat, breathe, study NFTs. He's super bullish on NFTs. He have made thousands of people money. The Mr. Beast, all of them. I heard so many stories of how much money he have made people. So if he have a project, it's crazy. I never looked into his project. But if he have a project, his should at least make sense. Let's see it. I never heard of his. Actually, it's like V Friends. I heard of it, but I never um got involved with it talking about Gary V with his V friends. And I've got to say, he's kind of crushing it with stick figure caliber drawings, proving once again, it's not about how good your art is because these are five-year-old doodle level drawings, but they're selling for the price of an economy car with a mint price between 2.5 Ethereum. Now look how beautiful this price is. People made money with this. If you get in at the beginning, made money, get in right here. Like you really... This is very successful. The volume is not popping as much, but this is, that's a successful um, company. And 0.5 Ethereum, early investors are very happy. Their investments are up several hundred percent. I think they're selling for like over six Ethereum now. And I think the X factor is obviously Gary V himself and the project's exclusive access to VCon, which is an NFT event he throws every single year. Now, as a quick reminder, I'm not endorsing V friends. I don't think you should go buy one. Just because the price went up before doesn't mean it will continue to go up. And our next celebrity is a great example of this. Reese Witherspoon is a famous actress who promoted the NFT project. Reese so gorgeous, man. I used to love her back in the day. I don't know now, nah, but that was my um, white boo right there. Um, I give her um, $20 for NFT. Called World of Women with a media deal to... All right. I lied um, because this is, you know, look like a drag. The only black person look like a drag type woman. This person look like an alien. I don't know. Indian. I don't I don't like it. Produce movies and TV shows. And at first glance, it seems like a slam dunk promotion because at an initial mint price of 0 0.08 Ethereum, it's now selling for a lot more than that. So if you'd invested early when she first tweeted about it, you'd be doing pretty well. However, her biggest announcement came in the middle of February, which is actually near the top of the price of World of Women. So if you had invested then, you'd basically be down 75% of your original investment, which makes this project a good example of it's not what you buy, it's also when you buy it. Now, this whole thing of delete and distance isn't exact. That's my, my, my thing. I'm sorry to keep cutting off like my philosophy like my only project that didn't go good out of the zillion ones was recently a week ago with the holder not doing the bankruptcy thing and what usually happens is when a project fails some everybody go to your old videos and they talk shit from a year ago like see i told you that this wasn't gonna work after a year of success or something so that's what people do so in your mind as a celebrity make you think man i need to delete this and i get the hate me it's gonna help the YouTube algorithm. My bad, carry on. Our next celebrity, Tyson Fury, follows the same pattern. He had a collection that minted for $330 to $550, and it's unclear if you can even sell these now because basically no one wanted them in the first place. Only a few hundred sold, so he didn't make a lot of money. But you know who did make a lot of money? Floyd Mayweather. 
Floyd is one of the greatest boxers of all time, one of my favorite people in the world. But I have this much respect for Floyd Mayweather when it comes down to NFTs in the metaverse because Floyd will literally promote rug pulls, pump and dumps, and don't be held accountable. I know it's money Mayweather, but if I lost some money, I would be suing Floyd Mayweather. I think it was um, it was when he fought Jake Paul or Lloyd Logan, one of them Pauls when he fought. It was Ethereum Max. Him, Kim Kardashian, and Paul Pierce, I think, all promoted it. And let me just show you guys something before we even go on. When For those that don't understand what is a rug pull, let me show you exactly what is a rug pull. Ethereum X. Now, we're about to look at it all. This is what happened. He pumped it, pumped it, pumped it, and everybody bought in right here. Because remember, he fought in like May. Pumped it, pumped it, pumped it, and look at this. This is a clear rug pull. Whoever, whatever celebrity needs to give everybody their money back and be sued or... That's just terrible. That's terrible for people. So, Floyd, I love you, but when it comes down to this, you scam a lot of people, and I don't respect that. Floyd launched Floyd's World at a mint price of 0.15 Ethereum, and it sold pretty well. But currently, they're selling for less than 1% of their original mint price, which, judging from their onboarding video, makes sense, because this isn't exactly a high-budget operation. Welcome, everyone. Do you want to learn how to gain access to Floyd's World? It's easy. Just follow me. Uh, honestly, no, I don't, I think I'm good, but we're going to keep with this theme of bad NFT animations for our next celebrity, Kevin Hart, who recently released a project called Confessions from the Heart, which is part NFT project, part Roku animated series, which is supposed to promote it, except the Roku animated series is like almost indescribably bad for someone who has access to millions of dollars. This is it just shows these celebrities get all this money and don't know what the hell they're doing. They're like such in a rich bubble. Go, oh my gosh, just pay Gary V $10 million to run your stuff. Jesus, this is bad. I realize you just don't know who people are. It looks like a college student's project or something. And if Floyd's animations are so bad, they're almost funny. Kevin Hart's animations are so bad that they aren't funny at all. The only thing that might be funny is this project's current price. It's down already 50% in only a month, which is just, it's just rough. I mean, what did you expect, guys? Many NFT celebrities have tried a lot of different things. Some like French Montana, a rapper, experiment with real world utility. French Montana's project is called Coke Boys Kicks which was pitched as a digital sneaker, which is paired with like a physical one. Now, this project just wasn't unique enough to escape the fate of many NFTs before them, and Coke Boy's kicks are now down nearly 80%. So it's hard to avoid the death of hype. Although, some manage it better than others. Our next group, you guys know I'm not the biggest fan of, it's the Nelk Boys. They released their project called Metacard at an initial mint price of 0.75 Ethereum and sold $23 million. However, who, I guess I'm probably too old. I don't know who the hell is the Nelk Boys. I know Mike Tyson, Kevin Hart, I don't know no Nelk Boys. Even so, the price has only dipped like 20% in the last several months, which frankly really surprised me. I mean, I guess the Nelk fan base just won't let this one die, which fair enough, general. And I know this has been a lot, so I kind of want to summarize a lot of this information I just gave you. Let's kind of recap how these projects did. I've shared 20 of them with you, and of those 20, only two of them are still above mint price. The what, what did I say? What did I say? This is my first time fully watching all of this. That's all we need to see. Your boy know what the hell he's talking about. Um, I'm going to chop and edit this up because it's 20 projects, and it's the same story with damn near all of them. I think the only successful ones was Gary V, which makes sense. And whoever them um, Neek boys, because I'm going to look them up. So when they do a project, that's the one I probably do because they have the history. Overall, in conclusion, do not invest in a celebrity itself. Don't do it. Completely do it. You invest in what celebrities are buying. Like when the board apes got popping and everybody start changing their profile picture 
to a board ape that was a status symbol. You seen Odell Beckham, you seen all of the top celebrities doing it. Now you like, oh, that's where the celebrities are going because they ain't gonna fully support each other, but they support a project like a Louis Vuitton or Gucci. You know, it's just different. Let me know y'all thoughts in the comments. Um, I have free stocks and free crypto all in the bottom, and I don't have anything to promote you guys besides the like button. Thank you, I'm Lando Success. Check the chocolate. Damn that boy can sing.